Hello everyone, I am Mahesh. I am Senior Test Automation Architect with 14 plus years of experience in the software test automation. I got approved one patent and another in queue. Now in my current role, I explore new technologies and tools in the market. Also introduce them to our test processes and bring value to the organization. Also providing a technical architecture, defining strategic direction for testing um, and serving as an expert in defining and rolling out a standard automation frameworks. Along with this, I worked on the complex architecture, script test automation and participated in application design reviews, ensuring quality automation practices like uh, TDD, BDD, then uh, test pyramid and which are already baked in your software development lifecycle. So, today's topic, I am going to cover how to explain roles and responsibility as an automation tester in internet. Now many failures I see with the automation are not caused by the technical issues but rather by a company's cultural issues. In software testing, there is a common discussion about who should own the responsibility for creating, designing and maintenance. Now most teams have the developers writing software and running unit tests to get immediate validation on their code. Simultaneously, the QA team is responsible for functional and non-functional testing. Now this arrangement will work well while the application is simple and small. As functionality grows in volume and complexity, the serious question must be answered and you will be faced the question sooner or later. Now in complex application, the functional testing plays a crucial role in strengthening the quality of the product. But to automate the functional testing, you will need to assemble a dedicated testing and it is important to match the skills of the person on your team with the responsibilities of their own role. Now, uh, let's take an example. Although the type of and the level of skill may vary depending on the automation approach or developing, your test script requires a good knowledge of programming. Now, a team leader must have control over the workflow of the team members. As automation uh, test lead or your team lead, who must have control over the workflow of the team members. Let's take an example. He will assign some of the roles and responsibilities to the person who is having a uh, total two to three years of experience. Now, I'll take scenario by scenario. Now, in your organization, let's take an example. I would assume that the framework is already in place and your project, that is application under test, is ready. Okay, now what are the roles and responsibilities if you are having two to three years of experience as an automation tester and what you need to proceed. So if you can see on my screen, there are three major roles that is your transitioning role, development role and your execution and maintenance role. So I'll explain one by one all these roles so that you can explain the same in your interview. Let's take an example and I'll explain the transitioning role first. Now, when we talked about the transitioning roles, there are two major uh, roles. The first one is get the KT of the project from manual team, understand the functionality and look and feel of your application, which would help us to automate ahead. That means your first role is to get the KT from the manual team member. Now, second is your get the test cases from the manual team and execute once manually to understand the flow and the functionality of an application. Now, my second role comes that is my development role. In my script development phase or my development role, I can start with the feasibility analysis, which means of figuring out the number of test cases that can be automated partially or completely as a, every automation uh, library or tool has its own limitation. Once it is done, set the deadline which is decided by your lead or a manager for completion, uh, completion of the test scripts. Now, after completion of the scripts, perform dry run, that is testing the scripts, whether they are running fine or not. You can showcase that to your uh, the team members, that is manual team members, that what is expectation, whether the test is maintaining that expectation or not. Now you submit the scripts to lead who sends the task accomplishment mail to the client, copying manager, your manual leads, manual testers and finally you. That is also your second important role when you have two to three years of experience as an automation tester. Now my third uh, important role, that is my script execution and my maintenance where I can do 
and I can uh, maintain my test scripts too. Now, assuming that scripts execution is carried out by your automation team or your manual team also, that is possible because you completed your, uh, your test automation scripts and your test cases, those are automated and you are handing over that to your manual team members. So, possibly those can be also handled or executed by manual team members. Now, let's take an example if sometimes there will be a failure in that automation scripts. So, they will directly come to you and they will build or they will simply raise their concern as a maintenance you need to fix those. Now execute the scripts for every release and perform the failure analysis is again one of your major role. Now debugging the failed scripts and finding whether it is an issue that is a bug or it is a script problem or let's take an example if you can uh, or you are any of the locator is changed. And then after completing all those failure analyses, you can prepare the execution report which again will be sent by the lead to the client and copying your manager and, and so finally to you. Now in the meantime, code reviews, code correction and the framework maintenance generally done by the senior automation engineer or the lead. Okay, so as of now, these are your major role but I'll explain some more on towards the same Addition to this, when person is having two to three years of automation experience, his regular responsibilities or we can see a task are to work with your shared repository like GitHub. Now that means majority of the role is uh, in the GitHub side is you have forked those repository on your local or clone the repository on your local machine. Maintain your branching. That means I need to work on the login so that I can maintain login, then home, then send. Likewise, all the branching. Then commit the code on the regular basis so that it is already available even your system crash. Then push those code on remote repository always so that anyone can be access it from anywhere. Then create the pull request for the review and tag those to the reviewer. And then finish those review comments and close that branch and hand it over the same test case to your manual team members. Now also when we say I have an experience to work on the POM framework, then major job involves identify locators and create locator file either using page factory or without with the static members. Now build action on top of this and you can create the action methods for each locator. And then I can say my third responsibility from the page object model is verify those action in the verification implementation and where you get better idea of your code coverage. And finally, I can call those verification to your test where you call your base class common data members. And this is what very important that when you explain these things in your interview. Now, additional to this, some of the additional responsibilities which we can explain in interview is like I can identify and selecting the automation test cases, which I already discussed in your initial phase. Applying a various designs and documenting the automation test strategy. Now creating an automation test plan and getting approval. That is again one more important thing. Now configuring your Selenium test environment in order to set it up. That means if you wanted to start with the automation, you need to configure your setting a Selenium or any other automation test environment. Now participating in Selenium environment setup with the ID, any ID which is already exists. If you are having existing framework, you can just clone that framework and you can start and setting it up with your ID that is Eclipse or any other NetBeans and then you can start. Then automating the design of a framework. That means you can ask the people what is the design, how do I start and this is what the base design I follow to automate every single test and implement your all the test cases as per the structure of your project. Then next you can explain creating, enhancing, debugging and running those test cases. That means the failure which I am explaining you the failure analysis. And you can say the collating and monitoring the defect management processes. That means any defect I identify in the automation I directly log that defect and that process. And then I manage the changes and ex uh, executing my regression suit, sanity suit or smoke or any other test suit which is required for every single release or the build. Now coming up uh, with the exact solution for the problem related, 
uh, to the object identity and the error handling is also that is your responsibility but you can ask that to your senior data members and then you can say the interacting with your customers or the clients to solve the various issues but definitely this is one of their least role which you cannot work around it because this is a senior automation tester can work thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you like the video please click on uh, like and if you are not yet subscriber to our channel please subscribe the channel and you can search me on linkedin by searching automated script thank you so much